Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a really cool plugin for Sketch that allows you to just simply import an icon font quickly and easily from within Sketch's own interface without having to go to any other website to, you know, maybe copy and paste some code into your artboard or something like that. So it's a really fast way to get Font Awesome, the material icons or ion icons into your project. So let's get going on that right now. So to get started, just like any of these plugins, we're going to head to our sketch toolbox and we're going to look up, uh, we can look for icon font, I think is the best way to search for this. And you'll find a sketch icon font. Now sketch icon font is really super cool. If you've ever tried to work with icon fonts in any design application, whether it's Photoshop, Illustrator, or Sketch, or just pretty much anything, you know it can sometimes be a tremendous pain in the ass. And sketch icon font is here to make that pain a little bit less. So let's go ahead and click install. So before we get going on this, uh, one thing is to know we wanna click this view on GitHub because what you need to do is actually come down here and make sure you have all of these fonts installed. So uh, we can grab font awesome OTF here, we can grab the ion, ion icons and we can grab the material icons, all their font files, and we can simply just install them uh, if you're on OSX just via the normal font installer install all of these just so we have them awesome so now let's go into sketch and let's check this out okay so i'm just going to select this blank web design template zoom in so you know that if you've ever tried to use uh, icon fonts you would have to download the font install the font then find some way to copy the entity from uh, like something like Font Awesome's website, paste it in here, and then select the font. It's just not the most visual, and you have to leave the application to do it. If we want an icon, I can just simply come into Plugins, and then Icon Font, Icon Fonts here. Let's head to Font Awesome and select Add an Icon with Grid. Now there's several different ways where you can scroll through a dropdown, you can add with a grid, you can find it by a name. So let's go ahead and just click add via grid and you can see we have this grid here. So from here, let's select the music note and you'll notice you'll be able to select uh, just a particular icon. Um, once we have this icon in here, let's go ahead and just click add change icon, okay? So you'll notice this has dropped this sort of in the welcome artboard. I want this in my desktop artboard, so I can simply just drag it to my desktop artboard. Then I can manually say, uh, hey, show up at zero and zero. I don't know why it just sort of shows up in random places on my install, uh, but we can come here and now you can see we have the icon here and let's bump this up in font size. But as you can see, it's bringing in it as a font layer. So we have all of the size and color properties that you're used to uh, with normal fonts. So as for these other options in the plugin, um, we can look up a particular icon's name with this music icon selected. We can say, what's this icon's name? And it's going to say music and it'll give us the, uh, um, the icon, the actual HTML for it. And let's go ahead and exit out of that. The search by icon, you can't actually search, you have to know the name of the icon for it to work. And the by dropdown is also just a dropdown. Let's go ahead and add a material icon uh, via combo box. So let's come in here and we can select a new icon here. I'm just gonna grab this downloading one, add and change icon. And again, it's sort of dropping it in the um, the welcome. And I'm just gonna go ahead and change the size on this and maybe make this show up in a good location instead of negative. There we go. And you can now see we have dropped this icon in here, no time. So even though it's sort of throwing it off in who knows where, it's really easy to just sort of grab and throw in the correct location if you want. And you never have to leave sketch unless of course you're wanting to look up a specific icon's name, but the grid mode or the drop down combo box are, are good ways to find the icons that you're looking for. 
So like I said, this is going to make working with the icon fonts, particularly the material icons, uh, font awesome, and the ion icons, it's, it's going to make working with those much, much easier. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.